up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we accidentally finished in plat so it was in the last two weeks um i tried to hit plat twice it was my first time pushing for plat it's really awkward for me because of the time i'm usually at work but luckily i had a bit of free time so i could try and push for plat um so i will sort of tell you how i did it but i'm also going to give you guys some strategy and tips on how you should try to push into plat i'm going to talk about defense because defense is the most important thing for trying to push into plat you need a strong defense to be able to push up into plat and to make sure that you stay there um so yeah heavily going to talk about um defense try and give you guys some ideas so you can build your own team comps and how you should try to build them and then talk a little bit about offense so just before we do that i'm just gonna show you my clan's discord and where we get absolutely flamed so um yeah so for plat um we finish in the uk on a monday at 8am thursday afternoon i checked classic and i was like oh i finished in plat <laughs> when did that happen um so yeah and dixie's like is that a pick from your account i'm like yeah 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 it is and sort of scroll down and i sort of talk about it about here so two weeks ago i pushed really really hard and um so the, i was on the very very edge of plat and i got a really easy page and i just went in hard smashed through these guys and we were in like the top 200 uh really comfortably and then like the last three minutes we were like still top 230th and then we slowly started to drop so i was doing like a few refreshes and yeah in plat it is insane like all you see is like mythical champions or Taras and Marichka. Really, really difficult teams to smash through. So I was a bit like, oh, okay. And I didn't hit anyone. And it looked like to me that I just got pushed out of plat. So it looked like I didn't make it. And then if we look at my um, defense log. So uh, we got tapped once. We got a win. Got tapped again. And we got a loss. So we broke even. I'm fine with that. That's perfectly fine. But yeah, a lot of people did not want to touch me. And that's what you want. Either you want no one to touch you, or of course you want lots of wins. But um, yeah, and we ended up finishing 491th. So not the best finish, but if I can keep trying, I can definitely try and get a lot higher. And then the second time was definitely, this is not the way you want to try and push into plat. So um, I sort of had 200 points to push in the last 15 minutes and i went in hard and 200 points in 15 minutes that's a lot that is not easy and at the same time while you're pushing people and plow pushing so the score is like pushing up and going up and up and up so you went in hard and it i don't know maybe i just got on the edge of plat but i think i probably got in plat two weeks ago more likely but that's how you want to push into plat so what you want to do is you want to stay on the very edge so saturday is when i'd start to push and then try and get like within like 100 points of it plat then sunday i want to be like within like 50 points of plat and then when I, when I wake up on monday you know one or two matches and i'm in plat and then i can just sort of stay there for the next 15 minutes and go hard that's what you want so sort of uh scroll down we've got my boy boozer um legendary player end game free to play also a content creator uh, recently got in the top 50 as free to play for plat which is absolutely crazy um, he's like makes it into plat doesn't even know how boggles my mind who is this guy yeah he doesn't know he's messing with the real deal um he's like this guy starts charging for plat takeovers now reaches plat effortlessly but yeah but yeah, and then we just sort of, yeah, talks about reaching plat. I don't know how. But um, yeah, and um, uh, guys, I wanted to pull the chess for you live. Um, I accidentally cocked things up. Um, I was filming before, and when I opened the chest, I had Discord open, and you missed me open the chest, which is really, really annoying. I wish I could have done it for you guys live. Lesson learned, but there's not much I can do about it now. 
So let's uh, talk about the defense that I used. So yes, yeah, so this is the defense that I was rolling with. Um, team power, 370. By today's standards, that is a weak. Um, most teams that I see are 400 to 600 plus easy. Um, but it's not about your team power. It is about the comp that you're running. Synergy between your champions and comp is more important than anything. And the builds on your champion is really important as well. So I like to go with a threat. So a threat is going to be a damage dealer that can either wipe their nuke or is just going to drop like half or most of the team. And that's it. They're going to struggle to beat you. Um, so two champions here were champions that we got for free. So Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight. See, Wukong is fully awakened and um, Ultimate Death Knight at five star. That was from tournaments that Polarium, I think Polarium gave us five stars for Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight, I think was three. It was either three or five. I can't remember now, but you know, so it's pretty easy to level up my Ultimate Death Knight. Um, Duchess, okay. She's she obviously she's not a very free play friendly champion. Um, but you know, you could sub in Python here. He would be a great option. Um, I actually did have a strategy for getting Duchess. So it took me four months of saving shards, and I did make a video on this. So please go check it out. And it did pay off. It was definitely worth saving those four months to get Duchess. I mean, absolute game changer. And then we got Hedgy again, obviously. Avoid legendary, not very easy to get, but you have to work with what you've got. And actually, a champion you could sub in for Hedgy would be Tormund. He would be a great option. So, yeah, let's just talk about the comp. So, Wukong and Oma Death Knight, obviously a great pair. Oma Death Knight built as slow as possible in Stone Skin. And he's just going to help Wukong just keep reviving. And it's going to be hard for the enemy to take him down. Uh, the other thing as well, so Wukong is just in a, a Savage set, just an obvious choice. Um, Merciless, obviously, in the future will be a much, much better option. However, I think Swift Parry is a really good option as well because people are expecting Wukong to die, so they might bring in a Neathui or Foley, someone with like a Block Revive. And if Wukong doesn't go down, that's going to be an issue. And then he can still get, you know, he can self-revive. Um, Duchess can revive him and also they're going to struggle to kill Ulmer Death Knight while Wukong just keeps reviving so Duchess is just in here or Ulmer Death Knight is just here as a stall tactic and to keep Wukong alive Duchess obviously she brings a lot to the table she's got an AoE revive she's bringing healing block debuffs and she's just hard to kill um, so many different ways you could build her um, ideally not in stone skin i'd say you don't want too many champions built the same way so bolster if you're a spender would be a great option you want to try and push at least 800 resistance gonna make the team struggle so much to kill her and like you know put bombs in her or any debuffs and lock her out um bolster immunity um, just so many different ways you can build it, but those would be like my two go-to. Um, Hedgy, I've got in a provoke set, and obviously, obviously Hegemon is disrupting the team. Most teams are going to have like someone that's going to boost the team's um, speed so they get to go first, and Hedgy is going to basically just lock them out and make things really, really difficult. Uh, mine's in a provoke set, and I love him in a provoke set. It's such a good way to go. Um, but again, you know, like I said, Tormund could fill this spot because he can also disrupt the enemy team if they bring in anyone that's going to boost turn meter. So yeah, loads, diff loads of different ways. Um, then the other team comp that I had, which is what I used last time, which was Duchess. Instead of Hedgy, I had Mithrala. So Mithrala was going to be my cleanser. And for Mithrala, I would not go stone skin. It's a good option because it makes her hard to kill and people can't just one shot her. However, I think immunity is the best way to go just because, you know, there's still that astrolyph bomb comp with irresistible bombs that can just take Mithrala out and you want Mithrala to be able to cleanse. So that would be sort of the option that I'd go through. 
Um, I'm just going to show you my account and just show you just other champions that we could use. So for the threats on my account, Leores is a great option. Uh, hits like a truck. Great, um, like, you know, it's very difficult to lock him out. And also unkillable buff. Hepfrek, not as good. I mean, I love Hepfrek, but I would not use him for Plat Arena just because he doesn't hit hard enough. And I've got mine in stone skin, so he's not going to be good enough. Obviously, Wukong, such a solid option. Um, and Harima. So I've only just got Harima, and I was lucky enough to be able to get um, the five souls for her. But yeah, she is a beast. Um, yeah, she is going to be a great option for pushing Plat as well. And I did get really lucky recently. So I've got Venus and uh, Cupidus. Where's Cupidus? There. I mean, they are an insane combo together. Um, definitely, you know, got him in stone skin. Going to be putting Venus in stone skin. And when I get blessings for her, I will definitely be going for sheep. So that's one thing I forgot as well. Having sheep on one or two champions is a great thing as well for pushing plat. Because again, it's going to stall their team. They're not going to be able to bring in a stripper. It's going to make things difficult. That's what you want. You want your team to be as difficult to deal with so people don't tap you in plat. But yeah, so Venus and Cupidus, like that is a great option. Just that, that, you know, that pair together is just so difficult to deal with. And you can just pair so many things up with it. That's like the sort of thing you want to do. When you look at your own account, you want to look at what you've got and how you can pair it up to make it really difficult for the enemy team to try and beat you. Uh, other combos that are great, Duchess and Pytheon. Um, you know, them two together are so hard to kill. Pytheon, you know, reduces damage for every buff on the team. Duchess throws out a lot of buffs. She also... Um, reduces AoE damage in her passive. So them two together are, you know, so much damage and mitigation. Um, another option is like if you wanted to go for a stall comp, so you, I could have Uko in a stun set, stripping the enemy, CCing their Nuka, and then we've got Elva, Duchess, and Pytheon all together. So, you know, we've got cleansing keeps happening. We've got constant revives. I mean, Uko can revive as well. Well, four revivers. That is really annoying and really difficult to deal with. I mean, we could bring in Helicat as well as an option. Great defense. Uh, then we got Jeffred, um, who is like an insane carry. Um, I don't know. People, like, people use him a lot in Tag Arena. And yeah, he is a great champion as well. Really difficult to deal with. Really, really annoying. Uh, Brogny could be an option. So um, I'd sort of talk about like another team comp that I could come up with. So again, Wukong, Brogny in Bolstar, um, Pytheon in Immunity, and then Duchess in Stoneskin. So what we've done there is every champion is in a different um, gear set. And that's what you want because if everyone's in Stoneskin, I, I think I've already mentioned this, but it's just so easy to deal with. It makes things harder if you've got different layers that people need to peel through to get through your defense. Um, Valkyrie, again, a really gay, uh, a really great um, option for arena defense. But yeah, there's so many things that you can do. You just need to be creative. And what I'd recommend is, you know, you may not get into plat the first time you push, but you need to just make teams experiment Try and think what you can bring. You want to bring in a champion that's going to disrupt the enemy. You want cleansers. Cleansers are so strong. Revivers are great. And yeah, for me personally, I always like to have a threat. If you've got a really strong threat, you can just shut down the enemy. And let's just talk about, I think, you know, I think I've rambled on enough about defense. Let's have a look at offense. So the sort of standard team that I go for is um, Arbiter for obviously as my speed lead. You know, she's going to boost her meter, increase our attack. Heji is going to lock everyone out. Leores is then going to slam and everyone should die. If they don't, Hepfrek is going to step in and drop the rest of the team. And what I like about this team is 
If something goes wrong, if Hedgy dies, Hetfrax passive will pop off. He'll drop the team. Or if, say, Leo dies, Hetfrax got stone skin for two turns, he'll wipe the team. If Hetfrax dies for some reason, Leoris has got unkillable, can't be CC'd, he will drop the team. And then my other go-to is this amazing bomb team. I do have a video on this as well, so please go check it out. Away. I think it's called Bombs Away or something. Um, but again, Arbiter, boosting that turn meter, increasing the attack. Astrolyph, very fast, lots of attack. It's going to put those irresistible bombs. And this is a team, sorry, specifically made for going against full stone skin team comps or a team comp where one champion's got stone skin. And you want to try and avoid teams where you think there'll be a cleanser with immunity. Um, but yeah, so then otherwise you're good to go. Astrolyph puts those bombs on on the stone skin to Hanarak will spread that across the enemy team and then Vizier will come in and spread those bombs again and that's four bombs on everyone and it's just going to blow the enemy team away it's such a strong team comp uh, but the one thing that I'm struggling with is like I said there was loads of mythical champions so I'm going to have to start learning all of these mythical champions learning their skills abilities their counters and then see what I can bring in to beat them. And then also looking at how I can beat Taris and Marichka team comps. But now that I've got that Harima, I think I do have a, you know, I've got something a bit more flexible. I can definitely start building some more tanky go second team comps. And also having Venus and Cupidus as well. Like just, you know, maybe Venus, Cupidus and Harima and Duchess could be a pretty sick um, go second team for um offense team comps but yeah so many things that i can do and that i need to work on but yeah you know but yeah for anyone out there that does push plat and stuff you know let me know what sort of um what's your go-to for offense teams what sort of defense you guys like to run but yeah thank you so much for you know well done guys for making this far into the video please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you all in the video soon peace